Hey people, it's me, Anya, my pronouns all she and ho, and welcome back to my channel for a new recent release video. Since this video is going up on American Thanksgiving, I just wanted to remind you that there was a genocide happening in Gaza, in Palestine, right now. And it is so important to support the Palestinians because they do not deserve what is happening right now. And I am pro-Palestine, I will always be pro-Palestine. Reading has always been very political as a marginalized person myself i have always understood that so with that said please remember again my channel is for palestine there are resources in the description box below in case you want to educate yourself further palestine will be free from the land to the sea so without any further ado welcome back for my new recent leads video november has been a very steady reading month which i very much appreciate because it could be worse but I also wish sometimes that it was better, if that makes any sense. But anyway, with that said, the first book on this list is called The Other Side of Tomorrow. This story is a middle grade graphic novel, contemporary, and it's so good. It follows two young main characters as they try to escape from North Korea. This book is excellent and it is harrowing and it's very emotional and moving, but it's so good. The plot is so engaging and so intriguing. The illustrations are so vivid and so artistic and so well done because the two main characters are so well developed and so distinct and I love their dual perspective so much. I was so emotionally invested in both the events as well as the characters from the beginning to the end. I was so intrigued as to what was going to happen next because I couldn't predict it, if that makes any sense. This book is so, so excellent and it's so well done. I love the characters, I love the plot, I love the world building, I loved the illustrations. So basically overall, I really, really enjoyed this book so, so much and it's so underrated and it deserves so much more hype. So with that said, I rated this book four out of five stars and I would definitely highly, highly recommend it. The next book on this list is called Upstaged. This story is a middle grade contemporary graphic novel that follows a young non-binary main character who wants the last summer at fetal camp to be exactly the same as it has been for the past two summers or three summers. I can't remember if this is the third and last summer or the fourth and last summer. I think third. But anyway, this story is so fantastic and it's so good. First of all, we all know that I love fetal settings don't read too much into that. I love the fetal. I love the found family. I love group dynamics. I love fetal as an alt. Like it's so interesting and so fascinating. But anyway, the world building and the illustrations were so pretty and so well done. This book is absolutely so fantastic. The characters are so well developed and so distinct. The queer representation is excellent and it's so awesome. And it's so normalized and I truly really really enjoyed it so much. The romance is so cute, so adorable, so well paced. The friendships are so lovely and so wonderful. Like I said, the fetal elements were so well done and so great. The characters are so well developed and so distinct. This book is so awesome and so wholesome and I really really enjoyed it. So anyway, with that said, I rated this book 4 to 5 stars and I would definitely highly highly recommend it. The next book on the list is called The Empty Place. This story is a middle grade urban fantasy that follows a young main character who's fighting to find her way back home after accidentally falling into the land of the lost. This story is absolutely so fantastic and it's so good. First of all, I love the fish out of water trope because I love learning about the world through the eyes of the main character as they learn about it as well, if that makes any sense. Instead of being immersed into a world that the main character is already familiar with, if that makes any sense. But anyway, this book is so good. The world building is so excellent and it's so fantastic and it truly felt so immersive. The plot was so engaging and so intriguing and I loved it so much. The characters are so well developed and so distinct. And I love the friendship between the trio so much. This book is so excellent and it's so good and it deserves so much more hype. I think that this is the first middle grade book that I've ever read by this author. Not to say that they haven't written middle grade before in the past and not to say that I haven't read middle grade before by them because maybe I have and I just don't remember because it wasn't very good. But anyway, this book was so good and it was so excellent and I would gladly read more middle grade by them 
in the future is my point because I rated this book four to five stars and I really really enjoyed it and with that said I would definitely highly highly recommend it. The next book on this list is called A Queen's Game. This story is a YA historical romance set during the mid-Victorian era following three main characters who are vying for the hearts of two future kings essentially and I would have never read this book honestly if it wasn't for the author's reputation because Catherine McGee is an author that I have kept up with since 2017. You know what I mean? Like I am locked in. I am not letting go. Although with that said, I rated this book three stars just because the time jumps I just didn't really love and they were more jarring than cohesive if that makes any sense. Although I love juicy drama. Catherine has always done a good job with sketching such good juicy drama while having like good well-developed distinct main characters in the background as well if that makes any sense because for me like I have to be hooked into the drama if I'm also hooked onto the main characters because if I don't care about the characters as people like as humans then I don't care about how they are interacting with each other and with their love interests if that makes any sense and historically I had no idea how the plot was going to go because historically like I don't know this history if that makes any sense so that was really interesting and educational as well. The plot like I mentioned was so engaging I really was invested in the characters emotionally so I definitely will be reading the sequel absolutely but with that said I did rate this book three stars just because the time jumps felt so surprising and startling to me as a reader so take that as you will. The last book on this list, and certainly not the least, is called Play Like a Girl, which is a middle-aged contemporary graphic novel memoir that follows Misty, the author, as a seventh grader as she ventures out to the football team as a girl. This story was so good and it was so well done. However, I feel like I can't really be mad or disappointed that this story was only a snapshot since it is a memoir and it is nonfiction. I don't really know how to talk about nonfiction really because I don't really read it all too often so I'm going to talk about it as if it's a fictional story even though it's not if that makes any sense. So basically I rated this book four to five stars because I really really enjoyed it. The plot was so intriguing and so engaging. The characters are so well developed and so distinct. I know it feels weird to call them characters because they're all based on real people but like I don't know. I enjoyed the friendships. They felt really wholesome and really realistic. This book was really, really good and I really, really enjoyed it. The illustrations were all so pretty and so well done. Like, I enjoyed the plot and the characters and the story and the arc and everything. So anyway, with that said, I rated this book, like I mentioned, four to five stars. And with that said, I would definitely highly, highly recommend it. So in conclusion, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, November has been a very steady reading month and I do appreciate that. I just wish sometimes that it could be better, but also it's the end of the year. I'm literally running out of time. So anyway, in conclusion, if you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below the scarf emoji if you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.